Welcome back to Auto Small Engine. Today I'm going to be going over how to repair a limp recoil, how to re-rope a recoil, and also a few tips and tricks on how to make your recoil last longer. This video is going to mostly pertain to Honda GX 100s all the way up to Honda GX 390s, but it's also going to relate to some other recoils out there. They're mostly the same. Honda GX engine recoils are typically fastened using three 10 millimeter bolts. If your recoil still pulls the rope back in even a little bit, well then in you're in luck because you should be able to repair this using just a pair of needle nose pliers. So what we'll do, we'll flip it over. You need to locate the cutout in the housing here, right there. And what you want to do is you want to line that up with the actual hole in the recoil where the rope feeds through. So you can do that by just pulling it as if you're pulling the engine over until it lines up and stop it right there. Then you take your needle nose pliers, pull the rope through like so, and you need to put it in that cutout. That's what that should look like. Then give yourself a little more rope and grab the one that's through the cutout and just go counterclockwise with it one turn until it lines up again. Like that. Then all you have to do from there is pull it through and let it go. Now we're going to go over um, the steps you need to take if you're trying to replace the rope on your recoil, whether it's frayed or you know in weak condition or just completely snapped. For me, this one's still intact, so I'm going to pull it out. Like so, and then you're going to cut it. Walk it back through, like that. Take it and just pull the rope like so. Typically what you would do is you would line up your new rope with the old rope. However, this rope was replaced at some point and it's too long. So the book says 58 inches for these GX recoils. So we're going to cut it right at 58. Next, you're going to want to pull the old rope out of the handle. When you cut your recoil rope, it's going to be a little bit frayed like this. You don't want that because when you push it through the handle or into the recoil, it's going to be difficult. So, you just need a barbecue lighter or any lighter. You're going to just melt the end. Just like so. Then you're going to take the end, push it through the handle. And you're going to make a knot. Try to pull the knot closest to the end. Like that. And it's your choice what you'd like to do, but I like to melt the knot just to give it some more strength. There we go. Once you have your handle on here, you need to flip your recoil over and find where your knot was inside the recoil. You need to line that up with the hole in the housing. Just like that. Then take your recoil rope, you insert it through there, right into there. Then you can let the spring relax so it's easier for you to work. Make another knot on the other end.
like so. Then you can pull it through. Just like that. Next, we're going to locate that cutout in the housing here. Pull your rope through. And you're going to want to count four turns. One. That's two. Three and four. Now the rope is going to be all twisted up, that's fine. Pull it back through and then slowly let it wind back in. Just like that. If it's not tight enough, you can line up your notch again. Put it through and go around again. I'm not exactly happy with this tension, so we're gonna do one more turn, which would have been a total of five. There we go. Hey, what are you doing up there? I'm going to go over a few tips and tricks on how to get the most life out of your recoil rope starter assembly. So for one, these pins that come out right here, every time you pull it over, can get lubricated with a little bit of white lithium grease. Just a little bit. You don't ever want to put this in the spring or too much of it because it'll attract dirt and that'll be counterproductive. Perfect. Another way to help your recoil last longer is when you initially go to pull it over, don't jar it into the flywheel receiver like that. You wanna rest it on the flywheel, then pull it. Because what you're doing is when you pull it over, these pins come out into the flywheel receiver and they slam against the engine. Another thing you don't want to do is no matter what size the engine is, you never want to max the rope all the way out to the stopper. Next tip on how to make a recoil last longer is typically it's mostly on generators because they have a frame here, but you never want to pull the rope against something if you're always in a certain position pulling it over. You want to pull it as direct as you can and make sure the rope isn't rubbing on anything. Well, that just about does it for this one. I hope this video helps somebody out there with their recoil assembly. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.